Matt Hancock grilled by host on second pandemic of long COVID sign up for free now for the biggest moments from morning TV subscribe and valid email when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters. Sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services we offer. Our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data, and your rights. You can unsubscribe at any time. Mrs. Garraway pointed to the long COVID effects that have left her husband Derek in the hospital following a coronavirus infection. The Good Morning Britain host told the health secretary that Britain will face a second pandemic as a result of people suffering with the effects of long COVID. Mrs. Garraway said, planning on a specific thing long COVID, I know personally and for many other people than an extreme case of huge long COVID problems. Are you confident that people are accepting that long COVID exists? Of course, we have to prioritize saving lives but I am worried that we have got a second pandemic of people with huge damage around the corner. What plans are you making now for that? Mr. Hancock replied, Kate, I think this is an incredibly important subject and it is very close to my heart too. I know people close to me that have long COVID, it is a really serious problem. We have put significant funding into research to try to understand the causes. There appears to be a whole series of different syndromes that cause different symptoms that all amount to long COVID. Kate Garraway says she hasn't seen Derek since Christmas I know that Derek had it very seriously but also some people that do not end up in the hospital and don't have particularly severe initial symptoms, end up having those symptoms stay with them for months. Later in the interview, Mrs. Garraway stated, We now know that people haven't gone to their GP, Derek never had a cough, never had a temperature, Mr. Hancock to reply. We absolutely keep that under review and it's very much a clinical judgment. Trending exactly how we describe the symptoms and how many symptoms we put up front. If you recall, we didn't include the loss of taste and smell in the initial symptoms list either, so that is reviewed and it's an area where I take the clinical advice directly, because, you know, I'm not a doctor so it's best to take that advice. And we do support research like this imperial research, 